Hi everybody, and welcome to Subnautica Part 6. This is going to be a very short episode, um, because I was doing a little bit of scavenging. Uh, I'll just send my old Betsy here for a second. I was doing a bit of scavenging, going around, doing like the boring stuff so you guys didn't see, because, you know, I was literally just getting materials. Oh, quick thing. I did get the Cyclops. I was looking around and I did get the last piece. Unfortunately, while I was scavenging around to get some small things that will help me, like um, this sonar right here, when I press this, all this like shines, like, and it goes pretty far. It's like echolocation, but it's like a uh, I don't know how it fucking works, but. I got the Cyclops, which is really helpful because now I, now I can actually like have a mobile home or a mobile vi base and I'll, that I'll probably use. Uh, I got a storage compartment. Uh, I'm working on making this thing go deeper. So yeah, that should be good. Right now though, I'm in a, uh, I'm in an interesting area. See all of this. Right there, that wreckage is one of the main things I need to go because I looked it up on Subnautica's wiki, and apparently, uh, in the bulb forest uh, area, which is what's right in front of me, there's like these electrical uh, plants that are that look like balls or something. Um, there is a data box. That contains the blueprints to make a still suit, which is basically unlimited water, which I need desperately since, if you can see in the bottom, my water count goes down drastically a lot. And that requires me to um, have to find a lot of bladder fish and get a lot of water a lot. Like, I can worry about food. I mean, I can just pick any fish in the sea. And also, like, and, uh, when I get the Cyclops, I can also start draw my own food which will probably be in the next video uh because i didn't think of that that's actually a good idea but basically what i'm doing in this place is that if you go up right here this is like the mushroom forest and i'm in the big daddy tree and i remember correct there's a certain type of creature that's buried in this big ass tree and i'm gonna try to find it so that's what we're doing in this video or this minisode, mini episode, basically, because this thing's literally only gonna be about like five minutes ish long, or five or yeah, like five minutes long. If I can get my seamoth through here, I'll be nice. I don't think I can. Just gotta believe. This might be stuck. <laughs> Got it! Whoa, that was... That was a pain. I'm gonna leave this here. So I have somewhere to go oxygen. So I think it's... I, I'm trying to go up. That's, I think, the plan. I don't know exactly where it is. But it is somewhere. Here it is. Creature egg. See this little guy? That's called the cuttlefish. It's supposed to be like Subnautica's pet to you. If there ever was one. And it's on this like mini shelf right here. There's nothing really in here besides these uh, things. Just like lithium and all these other stuff. Which I got plenty of. But that that was basically... Um, I, I When I came into this area, in into this tree... I knew, oh god, <laughs> I might die. Where is my Seamoth? Here it is. Like, I knew you guys would want to see it. Uh, so, I got him. Like, these guys are very cute. But the pr thing is, I'm gonna have to build something called a, um, an alien containment area, which will allow me, god, this place is a maze, which will allow me for these guys to grow and like I can actually able to see them like when they're alive and not in an egg so that'll probably be in next video or the video after that I don't know 